Hi Gemini, thank you so much for joining me today. So this reading is for the Sun Moon Rising sign of Gemini for the week of April 13th through to the 19th. And I, uh, it is a general reading, so as a general reading, the messages will not resonate for everyone, so be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. And I am using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. I've pulled two cards, plus I am looking at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for the week, and I have an Animal Speak room. So let's see what you have this week, Gemini. Ooh, so you have the Three of Cups. And it is followed by, or clarified, by temperance. And at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy for you this week is the Seven of Swords. Okay. And let's see what we have. And we have the Gecko. And the Gecko is about taking action now and facing your opposition now and immediately. Okay, so Gemini, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is not a very positive card. It is a card about theft, betrayal, dishonesty. It could even be about running away from your responsibilities. So it doesn't have a lot of positive associations with it. So this card has major downsides such as theft, betrayal, and illicit tactics. So there could be someone around you that is not providing you with all of the information that you need to make some kind of a decision this week, Gemini. Um, or just someone could be just, again, it's not that they're, they're doing it to be malicious. They could just be withholding information or you might not have all the information for a certain situation. So what this card does tell you for this week, Gemini, is to make sure that if you are signing any kind of contracts, if you're doing anything that has um, long-term value or can affect you in the long term, like such as a contract, make sure you're reading it very carefully. It's advising you that this week nothing can really be taken at face value. It can be about you needing to use um, kind of like misdirection um, or subversion in order to overcome any kind of obstacle or challenge, to kind of disarm using that kind of a skill, like the, the skill of misdirection to disarm your oppo opponent um, in a very sneaky way before you do battle with them. And it's making me think of that because you have the gecko here. Um, so if you do realize that you are coming across any kind of opposition this week um, with anyone, that's what the Seven of Swords energy can also represent for you this week, Gemini, because the rest is quite pleasant and quite um, and, and quite positive. You have the Three of Cups here, and this Three of Cups is all about celebrations and your circle of support and your friends and family around you and you enjoying time with them or in time with people, but having people that are, that are celebrating with you or supportive of you in some way in whatever it is that you're doing. So it is a card that represents merriment and enjoying and celebration. And it's also about you realizing so I mean, right now, you you know, with everything that's going on in the world, you may not, you may be missing some of your friends and family if, if I'm not sure where in the world you live, but there could be restrictions and travel restrictions for you um, and going out and mingling with others. But it's about you appreciating and acknowledging um, how much you actually have in your life and appreciating that. So it's about you finding ways to enjoy the abundance that you have in your life. Um, and then it's being clarified by, by um, temperance. And temperance is, it is a card about balance. It is, uh, it is the card of Sagittarius. But it is about balance and patience, self-control, um, everything in moderation. But the other side of balance is, it's like the, um, it's like the glass maker that they make glass stronger by heating it and cooling it. And it's about us becoming stronger and more refined by our hardships. So if you are coming across any opposition this week, this is something that could make you stronger. It could even make you appreciate everything that you do have. And so this is, this is the message with temperance. And I do feel like this is how it's clarifying it for you. It's, you know, you, you're finding that you are um, realizing and appreciating everything that you have. But I feel like this, this temperance, even though it clarifies this, um, 
the card of celebration. I also feel like it's 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 kind of muting and clarifying this energy here of that seven of swords. And then you have the gecko here. And the gecko is all about acting now. The gecko is it, it indicates that there's some kind of opposing energies or strife at play in your life right now or that there will be and that it's not the time for you to be passive but it's time for you to be clear in how you feel and how you can act but be firm in all responses that in how you respond to this opposition or opposite 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 energy so um, any kind of competition or opposition that comes your way you should respond sharply to but, and, and your efforts will be rewarded and you'll be less likely to encounter that kind of opposition or strife again in the future. But it's also um, about you restoring order and bringing any kind of conflicts to the end and conflict to an end. And um, so again, with this energy here, um, the Seven of Swords, when it comes to you dealing with any kind of conflicts, it, it does say to do it in a more um, subtle kind of way and do it where it's, it's more through strategic planning than, than brute force and overcoming your opposition. So through careful planning and, and again misdirection is a, is a good word to describe and how you, you kind of disarm your opponents. Um, but do act. If, if you are finding that you have any opposition in anything that you're trying to do this week, Gemini, um, do act and, and take care of that opposition. Don't expect it to just go away on its own. So Gemini, this concludes your reading for the week of April 13th through to the 19th. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you are notified when the next readings are available. And Gemini, have a fantastic week and take care.